Welcome back everybody. We're right where we left off. We just rolled into camp here in the Washita National Forest. We're on a creek. If you didn't see the last video, go check it out. We wrapped up some hiking today, spent the night last night in the Ozarks. Now we're in the Washita's and we had a hike today and now we're hungry. So we're gonna get, I think Sarah's making some lasagna soup. Lasagna soup is the plan, but we got to get camp set up, tent, kitchen, everything. So we're going to get things set up and try to get some food made and a fire. I want a fire, a big fire. Well, we got our fire going and we got some food ready to sit down, be warm and fill up. Been a long day, eat some supper and then uh, hit the hay.
good morning everybody it is another beautiful day here at camp in the washita's it's a bit chilly this morning definitely cooled off a little bit more somewhere in the 20s a little bit of ice on the mud hole over here and we're gonna have some fun today sarah's making some biscuits they're almost done She's gonna go scramble up some eggs and we'll be at camp out here for a little bit and then we're going to head down the road here not very far away there's a hike we want to try to do if everybody's feeling up to it today so we'll probably eat some breakfast pack up head down the road hit that hike and then there's some more roads we want to explore look for some camp areas there's a lot we haven't seen in the washtaws yet certain parts of it we've explored a lot of and other parts we haven't the washtaws is a very large national forest a lot bigger than the ozarks and there's still a lot we haven't seen a lot we haven't seen in both but we're going to explore some more down here today and see what we can get into oh wow <laughs> you like those eggs hey careful uh, don't get too close with your sleeve there is that I'm going to turn it up a smidge, if you'll move. As soon as our fire heats the world up enough, we'll go for a hike. Something kind of interesting about this camp spot. If you look at the ground, it's all extremely bare, but you can see by the trees, little bits of leaves piled up. This place flooded recently, not that long ago, because there's no leaves, but you can see there was water up on these trees. This whole area where we're camped and everything, at some point recently, it was underwater, which would have been quite the sight. You wouldn't have been able to cross the road down here. The road's right beside us, a bridge that can, and it would have been well over that bridge. So this creek can get way up. Always something to watch out for in the Washita's and in the Ozarks. I think the Washita's sometimes are worse about some of the camp spots, but some of these areas are very prone to flash flood. And if you got a big storm coming in, you may not want to be camped at a spot quite like this even though it's nice to be by the creek and everything you got to watch out because flash flood could wash you right out of here mm. Mm. don't joke Right, we've gone a little ways down the road. We're at Jack Creek Recreation Area, and we're gonna do Hole in the Mountain Trail. It runs up on this ridge up above the uh, little camping recreation area here. So it's gonna be kind of fun. I think there's a bunch of stairs or something. I'm not exactly sure, but I know we gotta go up a mountain, and then maybe there'll be some views on top. Don't really know a whole lot about this hike, but it is a trail. So it should be easier than yesterday. We're not going to do the whole hike. It's 3.6 to do the whole thing. But you got to go all the way down and back. So we're going to do about half of it and get to the top of the mountain. And then just come back and not do the other half. So we should end up doing about three and a half, four miles total on this hike. But this is a beautiful area. And we'll be up on top that mountain over there it's where, where we're gonna be hiking to all right we're finally ready to take off on this hike 
We were gonna cross the creek on the bridge, but we looked at that and there's still two smaller creeks to cross after that. And technically that's private property over there. So I think we're gonna have to do the main river crossing if we're gonna do this hike. So we're gonna look at it and decide how badly we want to do this hike. There's literally ice on the trees by the creek where the water splashes up on them. It's freezing in the air because it's so cold. So we're gonna see how, how badly we want to cross this creek. All right, guys, we have chickened out. Decided it's too cold. We just don't feel like being miserable crossing the creek. We've done stuff like this many times. If you've watched our stuff, you know we've, we've done it. We can do it. But we just don't feel like it today. It's too late in the day. If we do this hike, we're not going to get to do some of the other stuff we wanted to do. So we're going to go explore some roads instead and check out some stuff. It's 12.30, so it's already, the day's half over, and we have to cross this multiple times to get everybody across, so that makes it worse, and it is pretty chilly, so we're going to go explore instead. Little Mr. Chocolate Face. So, another reason that's probably good we carry on is our fridge is currently off because our batteries are dead. So we're still running the old dual batteries we've had for quite a while in here. And they're just deep cycle, like boat marine batteries. And they just, are they're getting weak. They don't last us that long. That's part of the reason we've added the 200 amp hour gel battery underneath, but I don't have it hooked up yet. So I'm gonna throw the fridge into the back of the Suburban so we can get it on DC power off the alternator and uh, get the fridge back running. It's not a huge deal because it's cold today, but it's gonna warm up the longer the day gets. So we do need to get the fridge back up and running. So throw it in the Suburban and then we're gonna hit the road and go explore some more of the roads in this area and hopefully find some more cool camp spots. We were trying to get to a road we wanted to check out, but come across a small problem. It would appear the road is closed. So, I guess we're turning around and going somewhere else. Today is full of changes of plans. My guess is the uh, something's washed out down here. I don't know. Or it could be that they're doing burning down in this area sometimes they close roads for when they're doing prescribed burning and I know they're this time of year they're doing some I know they've been doing some in the Washita's I don't know exactly what area so it could be a prescribed burn or it could be a road washed out it looks like a lot of this flooded around in this area recently so we will turn around here and go find somewhere else to check out we backtracked a little ways and we're just exploring what we can explore since our day is kind of gotten changed and we came out and stopped off at this uh little shooting range there's several of these scattered throughout the ozarks and the washita's in different places i've never been to this one before but stopped off here just a little shooting range which is kind of nice i've been to several of the others and used them never been to this one but they've actually some people have left some targets out here they got some closed pins for putting your targets up we got a couple little fences built i think at 25 50 up there and i think there's one at the 100 yard mark so nice little spots when you're out roaming around and want to get a little target practice in we just recently picked up a springfield hellcat 
and it actually my first time using it we hadn't had a chance to get it out and uh shoot it any i am a fan i really like it i also have my canic tp9 with us today and i also like shooting it but i actually think i like shooting the hellcat more even though it's a smaller significantly smaller gun um i really like it We were checking out a road through here and ran into some locals on a four-wheeler, helped them get a tree cut out of the road. And uh, it's always cool when you get to talk to some of the local people from the area and they can tell you about where roads go and told us about a swimming hole and an overlook and told us that you know, this road used to go up here and you could come out on the mountain up on the other road over there. And you just learn so much information from locals. It's really cool talking to them and getting to hear the stories of bears they've seen and all kinds of stuff but this road is closed right here this little water bridge you can see how much this flooded it's just piled up debris all over this creek bed we've actually got to move some of it to get turned around but just piles and piles of stuff from the when this flooded recently so we're gonna see if we can get some stuff out of the way get turned around and then we're gonna go try to find one of these overlooks they told us about <laughs> you can't move all that. That's the other way. Stay. So this is a red bud tree right here. You can see the purple blooms on it. Really pretty. This one's actually been snapped off, but it's still alive, but it's been kind of broken in half by, probably by the ice storm or snow. But supposedly you can make jelly out of the blooms on these. You like make a tea out of it and then you add that and make a batch of jelly. So we've never had it, but we found out about it and we thought we might try it if we find like a tree like this and pick some of the blooms. So we're gonna harvest a few blooms, enough to make like a small batch, and um, we'll let you know if it's any good. We'll find out. When we get home, we'll make some. But this tree's broken off, so it may die anyway, and it's hanging out over the road, so not a big deal to, and it shouldn't be hurting anything to harvest them anyway. We won't pick them off, there's way too many, but we'll see what happens. Well, we seem to have gotten ourselves into a uh bit of a predicament let me show you the other side we were trying to get out of the road because there was a jeep coming through and we thought we could just pull off into this little pull off here and uh kind of backfired and we're a little bit a little bit stuck this is like wet concrete basically and the jeep just drove off they probably they couldn't see that we were sinking over here so we're gonna we can't, well, if we can get back just a few feet, we can go forward and get back on the road, but I can't get the front end over because it's so buried in the mud. So we gotta get back. So I'm gonna try to use the traction boards because we can't, don't have a good way to winch ourselves backwards currently. So we're gonna try to back up with these a little bit and get out of this.
barely wet at all. Stop it. <laughs> it's like a soup. It's like wet concrete. Pretty much. That's what it sounds like. Now that you mention it. Getting under the rail there is going to be pretty careful. So deep. Something to hold it back as it fills in. Man, move that one in the hole. Work. Don't drive in the wet punk. Got it. I don't typically do such things. Camper's kind of grounded. I think that's part. Okay. It's not really much better, but I've got it as far back as we're gonna go. The camper is also off in the ditch now as well, which is not exactly ideal. So I'm gonna take the winch from the front and pull my front end over where I can just get back and head down the hill. I've got it back a few feet and enough that if I can pull the front end out straight towards the road, It'll, once I get the that passenger side tire out of the mud and back up onto solid ground, then we should be should be okay.
Om jag höcker. <laughs> Baby poop color. <laughs> that is a sloppy mess. Well, that was an overly complicated and messy endeavor when we're just trying to get out of the road enough for someone to go by. But when you're pushing combined 10,000 pounds in reverse up a hill, you're gonna have problems when you drive into wet concrete. All right, we've made it to our destination that one of the locals back there had told us about. This really, really fantastic overlook. So we'll show it to you. It's it's nice. Pretty nice view. That right over there, the big mountain right there, that's Mount Magazine. Oh. Pretty spectacular. It's maybe the best thing we've seen all day. This day's been a little bit of a flop in a lot of ways, but this is nice. It'd be cool if we could camp here, but oh, we can't. Oh well, but it's still very cool to see. All right, we are headed out from here. We're gonna be headed the fastest route we can get to a gas station because we are almost out of fuel. When we were on that downhill stuck, it would had us tilted enough the low fuel light came on. So we don't have much fuel left and I don't know where the nearest fuel station is, but it's not very close. So hopefully, hopefully we don't run out and have to call somebody. That uh, would be fun and would not surprise me today the way things have gone. So. Let's head out. Fight you to get ahead. You don't have as much sense as course. You almost get killed. We go on now. We get off the bad part of trail. Change now. I hope I can stay on here as a student ranger. And I realize that it takes years to get the experience and knowledge you fellas have. I hope I haven't ruined my chances of understudying you fellas. We plan to keep you, Jerry. Now that you become a man. Thank you, Bill. Well, we made it home. We made it to the gas station, just barely. Made it home, didn't get stuck in any more random places. It was a pretty good trip. Today didn't go super great. Saturday was fantastic, but we still got to see a lot of area, cover a lot of ground, see some new things. I had fun doing it. We still got more work to do on the Suburban. I temporarily got the one upper control arm and ball joint fixed, but we're about to rebuild the whole front end with kryptonite parts. So we're gonna make it a lot stronger than the factory. So hopefully we won't have any issues for a while. And of course, there's lots more still to do on the camper. But we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna make some grilled cheese and tomato soup for supper, relax a little bit and get back to everyday life till another weekend when we can get away. It's always fun to get out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed another episode of our random crazy adventures and uh, we'll see you next time.